Flooding in Thailand in the fall of 2011 precipitated a hard drive shortage that is changing the nature of the industry. Hugh Yoshida is the Vice President and Chief Technology Officer of the Hitachi Data Systems. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. My pleasure, um, Dave. T tell, us, tell us what this means. Okay. Uh, the uh, flooding in, in Thailand has probably affected about 40% of the supply for hard drives, which is a major impact on the industry. Um, you know, that, that has um, created a shortage of drives that are affecting not just storage vendors, but also server vendors who have um, embedded uh, internal storage with them. And you've seen the effects on uh, PC shipments over the last quarter and also some of the uh, server vendors and as well as storage vendors. Um, that impact will, pr the supply shortage, that portion of it will probably be, will be, plants will be back online probably by third quarter of this year. However, the prices will not come back in line as well. For the last 50 years, we've seen a price decline, erosion, price, for the last 50 years, we've seen a price erosion about 30% per year. Mm -hmm. And that was because of Moore's Law, or you double capacity every 18 months, the, the price of that capacity comes down. Um, but after this, I don't think we'll ever see that type of erosion again. So this is going to be game changing for all users of storage. Now, is this a, is this because there are other technologies that companies will be uh, that the uh, vendors will be investing in um, to to try and bring online? I'm thinking solid state stuff. Um, is that eliminating uh, um, that erosion or? Yeah, there's there's several factors here. I mean, the, there are, we in the in the hard disk business, they're in the midst of uh, moving to a next next generation technology. The current generation, which is perpendicular recording, is, is topping out right now. You know, we have about two, three terabyte drives. Maybe we'll go to five or seven terabyte drives, but it's topping out. So the next uh, technologies in line are bit pattern media and heat assisted magnetic recording. Now, those technologies are going to be a change in manufacturing. So there'll be a retooling charge. And that retooling charge, of course, will be increased cost. So what happened with this flood in Thailand, it came at a very bad time because uh, to rebuild those plants in Thailand will cost about a billion dollars. That's some of the estimates that I've heard. And uh, that is being uh, diverted away from building the new plants for the new uh, types of technologies that we need moving forward. So uh, as a result of that, the price increases that we have seen this quarter will probably last through 2014 and the price erosion curve that we've enjoyed for the last 50 years probably will never be the same. Okay. Now, um, there is also flash drives or solid state drives that also have an impact on this. Uh, the um, price of disks is heavily linked to volumes. If the, you don't have the volumes, you won't be able to drive the prices down. Hard disk technology was the same technology for enterprise space as it was for the consumer space. But uh, if the consumer space changes and goes to flash drives, then you don't have the volumes to really support the price erosion for the enterprise space. Right, and the, ta the tablet market is, is really pushing that solid state, right. those solid state The tablet, drives. the phones, the, uh, yeah, all that is going to flash. Mm -hmm. So are, and is this going to um, inordinately affect the enterprise as opposed to the consumer market? Um, yes, because it's taking the volumes away that would drive down the price of enterprise storage. Now. The enterprise has different requirements from the consumer space. Uh, hard disks have a durability, uh, this is ability to write format 10 to the 18th times. The flash drives that we use in consumer uh, you know, uh, phones and so forth is a durability of about 10 to the third or 10 to the fourth. So much less durable than... than that's really only, disk. that's 1,000 to 10,000 rewrites. Right, that's right. And for the consumer space, that's probably good enough. I mean, because you'll probably change that iPad out next year when you get mm -hmm. the new iPad, and so it's probably good enough. Actually, yeah. tomorrow, I think, is the new <laughs> oh, iPad. Right. That's so. right, the new one's coming out for you soon. So, so you don't need the durability you need in enterprise, okay? So um, that, that's making it difficult for the uh, enterprise to switch to solid state. Uh, because uh, there are technologies in solid state that, unlike flash, that have higher durability. There's phase, phase change uh, magnetic, uh, phase, excuse me, 
there is phase change RAM. Okay, that's a phase change. There's also spin torque transfer magnetic recording. So a, a phase change will go to maybe 10 to the uh, eighth. Spin torque will go to about 10 to the 12th, which is close to what hard disks are. Mm -hmm. So very durable. But in order for them to break into the market, they have to be able to displace the consumer, the flash in the consumer market. Mm -hmm. And that's a little bit difficult because the flash is now, you know, uh, it's good enough, it's cheap. Okay, it's, it's got the volumes. So it makes it difficult to bring these new types of solid state uh, uh, memories to market. Is it always gonna be magnetic? Well, I don't, you know, it, we're, t we're, as I said, we're topping out on the current technology, which is perpendicular magnetic recording. And the new ones are, are radical changes in the way we manufacture a uh, spinning disc. So we're coming toward, I think, the end. Now, the, mm -hmm. the, the death of magnetic recording has been predicted many times. I've been in the business for over 40 years and I've, I've seen that. And there's always some breakthrough that, that sort of saved the day. But now we're, we're, you know, flying heights are in the order of angstroms, the light wavelengths of light. Uh, physically, I don't see how we can, we can get any more denser in, in this type of te mechanical technology. I think eventually it'll have to go some, to some sort of solid state uh, technology.